Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamashanaka Bai lies with Kumi Shah Shirali, the double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahabla Bakir Shah Yashirali, which is peace and love to elect of Israel. Come back at you again with another lesson. Baharucha Chorash Shah Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. <clears throat> and um, the topic of this video is going in um, pretty much on how great plagues is coming to this world. Alright, woe to this world. Okay, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, a lot of people think John 3.16, alright, they got that scripture misconstrued thinking that the Lord loves the whole entire earth. Everybody on the whole entire planet. No, alright, the Lord, actually the Lord hates, alright, majority of the people on the earth. It says that the Lord hates all abominations. In the book of, um, in the book, I, I'll start off with that, just because I made that point. This is the book of Sirach, chapter, Sirach chapter 15, and verse 13, it says, The Lord hateth all abominations, and they that fear the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, love it not. The Lord hates all abominations, and, majority of and the majority of the people on this earth is walking abominations, all right? Two-thirds of our people here in America, they're all abominations. These sodomites, all right, these Gomorites, they're all they're all abominations, man. Okay? So the Lord is going to start doing away with them. All right? And, and through what? Through great judgments, through great through through great plagues. That John 3.16 is not talking about everybody on the earth. It's talking about his people. All right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That world, you go into the Greek, is cosmos. Let's get a precept on that. Cosmos means a particular group of people. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Showing you who's going to be saved. Showing you who's going to be given salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Alright, so that world that, that the Most High loves. In the book of uh, John 3.16, it's talking about the world of Israel, all right? Starting with the elect, because as it says in the book of Romans, all Israel is not of Israel, all right? Two-thirds of the Lord's people here in America is not acting like the Lord's people. They're acting like the heathens. They're acting like the uncircumcised, so they're going to be judged. They're going to be judged with the heathen. They're going to be judged with the uncircumcised. The scriptures talk about in the book of Galatians 6 and 16, the Israel of God, the Israel of the Most High, talking about the elect, the chosen, Okay? That's who the Lord loves first and foremost. So now, let's go into these these scriptures on the destruction of this uh, of the people of this earth, right? The plagues that's going to come upon them. This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to, see we're not of this place, we're not of this world. Okay, as it says in the book of Philippians, our conversation is in the heavens. You go into that word conversation, is citizenship. All right, in the book of Hebrews, it says that they confess plainly that they were strangers and pilgrims upon the earth. This Philippians chapter 3 and verse 20. For our conversation is in heaven. Our citizenship, our citizenship is in heaven. Okay? We're not from this world. We're not with, with, uh, we're not with the shit that this world does. That the shit that this world promotes. Okay? That's why we're speaking against it. The Lord sent us, all right, put us on this earth in these last days to condemn this place. Okay? It says, but it may be a uh, slakia, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. We're looking for our Savior. We're looking for our King Yahweh Shai Mashiach to return because he's going to set up a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Verse 21, who shall change our vile bodies when Yahweh Shai comes? He's going to change us out of these mortal bodies that we're in. Okay. He's going to change us into immortals. He's going to change us into incorruptible beings, just like how he is. And we're not going to be able to die. It's not going to be no death. It's not going to be no sickness. It's not going to be no pain and no sorrows. It says that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And like that Hebrews I quoted, let me just grab it. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse... Hebrews 11 and verse 13, it says, These all died in faith, 
not having received the promise and having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. We're seeking a kingdom. We're seeking a city. All right. Which what? Uh, uh, wherein dwelleth all good things. We're not of this world. All right. Micah 2 and 10. Arise and depart. This is not your rest. We, we completely. We're completely severed from this place. Completely departed from this world. And now all we're doing is waiting for the destruction of this place. For waiting for the destruction of these people of this world. Okay, so going back into Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, it said, hey, the scriptures say in 1 John, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So what? That's telling you right there we're supposed to hate this world. All right, in 1 John, it also says that the whole world lieth in wickedness. Wickedness is abomination. The Lord hates all abomination, and they that fear the Lord uh, 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 hate it also. Roughly paraphrasing that Sirach that we read. We're not supposed to love this world. We're not supposed to enjoy this place. And niggas, you got Israelites comfortable in this world. You got Israelites that love this world. Okay? It's not so with us. Okay? We're we, we not cut from the same cloth as these niggas. Okay? We're looking for the destruction of this place. Alright? We're, we're looking for the, the this place to be burnt the fuck up. And that's why we're the only ones pushing that at a high level. Alright? The World War Three, The MOTB. Alright? The, the chariots of Israel, so-called UFOs, so-called so -called UAPs, which is also going to bring fire upon this place. Ain't no other group pushing it like how we pushing it through the spirit empire, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, that's the difference. The difference between us and the rest of these niggas is prophecy. We the ones that go into prophecy like no other. Again, through the spirit empire, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put into your mouth. Okay, the Lord put his uh, uh, the word of prophecy within us. It says in the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter... All right, that the uh, testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, that's the difference between us and IUIC. That's the difference between us and ISUPK and, and and the rest of them groups. Okay, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So woe to the inhabitants of this earth. Okay. Woe to the people of this world. Alright. I don't want to write this out. We're of that number. We're going to be sheltered. We're going to be protected from this devil. And we're going to be protected from the plagues that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is going to bring upon this world. Uh, let me jump back into uh, first. No, this is Second Peter chapter 5. So like it. Second Peter ain't even in chapter 5. It's Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, and spared not. I'll start at verse 4. It says, for if Yahweh spared not the angels... That sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. The, the chains of darkness is what? These vile bodies, which we're looking to be released from, liberated from when Yahweh Shai returns, like we just read in that Philippians. Verse 5, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person. The Lord didn't spare the old world. Speaking of what? The times of Noah. All right, he, he he destroyed the people of that world, but he saved the one he saved that uh, uh that the man, his servant that wasn't of that world. All right, being Noah, who didn't move like the rest of the people in that world. All right, the same with the times. It says so, as in the times of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. As in the times of uh, of uh Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. The Lord d destroyed the people uh, 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 of the, uh, of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. And save, deliver the uh, uh, that man that wasn't with the ways of that world. W wasn't with the ways of that society. So the destruction that's coming is for the people of this world. Okay? For the people that's still under the vibration and the spirit of the devil, the so-called white man, the biblical Edomites, man. It says, and spared not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person. Out of all the people that was uh, on the earth in that time. During that world, the Lord only saved Noah and, 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 and his family, all right? Noah and seven other people. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives, okay? So that shows you it's the same thing as in the times of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. A lot of people is going to die. More people is going to die. It says that in the book of Second Esther, the ninth chapter. It says that there be many more of them that perish than of them which shall be saved as a, uh, a wave is greater than a drop. A lot of death is coming to the people of this world. 
All right, let me grab something. Second Ezra, Spear, just you know, put a precept in my head. This is Second Ezra, chapter seven, and verse twenty-four. It says, "Uh, that's not it." Uh. For there, yeah, this is second Ezra seven and twenty, Salakia. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. All right, so there's be a lot, a lot of people that perish because what they despise the word of the Lord. Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. Okay, it says, if any man despise the uh, word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall be destroyed. Plain and simple. The majority of these people despise this word. Even it, again, even Israelites, even men that know that they're Israelites, even men that call themselves teachers and prophets. Right? They fall into that category of despising the word of the Lord. Therefore, they're going to be destroyed also. Okay? They're worse than a lot of these people because they'll twist the scriptures of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright? Onto their own destruction. Alright? Adding and taking away from the word of the Lord. This nigga said the, the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is found in the Bible. That's adding and taking away. Okay? That's twisting. Okay? And and lest you repent, you're not going to go unpunished for, for, for that, man. Alright? The words that you say, oh, wait, man. There's a lot of people that's following you, that's watching you, that's learning from you. I wonder how many niggas in Sakari repeated that, went and repeated that. Yeah, con. They go and repeat that shit, man. Now, now, that, now they're going to be judged for saying that shit, man. And that blood is all going to come back to you. Again, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. But niggas is too prideful. Just like a woman. Nigg niggas is too prideful to admit they're wrong. Okay? Niggas is too prideful to admit when they fuck up. Alright? Like I said, just like a woman. A woman will do all type of manner of evil, but her pride is too high. Alright? To, to say, oh, I fucked up. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have did that. Alright? These niggas is still in the vibe. Oh, just like Esau. Really, it goes back to you being of your day the devil. Esau's that way, man. Alright? You go back to Cain. Cain didn't want to... Didn't want to... uh pay for the consequences of his actions it's the same with these niggas it's the same with these fucking disgusting ass women of this uh, of this world today man lord's gonna wash you niggas away just like in the times of noah lord just wash them niggas away right same thing in the times uh, uh, in this world that we live in right now the lord's gonna wash these niggas away with judgment all right to the famine to the famine to the sword to the sword to the death to the death to the captivity to the captivity right Lord's going to wash these niggas away. When that fire and brimstone comes, it says a beast of my destruction, meaning a sweeping agent, right? That nuclear fire, okay? And that wind, that destroying wind, okay? That's what's coming to the people of this world, all right? So let me finish on this, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. And spare not the old world, just like the Lord's not going to spare this world. The fashions, as it says in Corinthians, the fashions of this world pass away, this place is over with. This place is through. All right. We got inflation. Inflation is at its highest, uh, at the highest it's been in decades, man. All right. I just read an article, briefly read an article. It says, I am inflation, the destroyer of worlds. All right. On blacklisted, uh, on blacklisted news. Okay. So we're showing you that what the, the inflation is going to bring in, destroy, it's going to bring in great calamities and great destruction. All right. Because soon the dollar is not going to have any purchasing power. All right, and niggas is gonna lose it. All right, that God that they worship, the Almighty Dollar, is not gonna have no value to it with all them devils on it, the, all them dead devils on it. Motherfuckers do anything for that money, but the Lord takes care of us, okay? All right, we get our daily bread. The Lord takes care of us, and we don't and, and we don't even put too much energy into trying to get the dollar and trying to get the money, man. He always makes a way. All right, He always makes a way for His servants, His saints. It says. Um, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Noah was a preacher of righteousness, just like we're preachers of, of righteousness. Us condemning this present evil world is righteousness. It says that also in the book of Hebrews, man. All right. The 11th chapter. All right. Us prophesying downfall of this place it makes us preachers of righteousness. Us proclaiming the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai and standing boldly and stiffly for those names makes us preachers of righteousness. Okay. Defending the gospel makes us preachers of righteousness. Alright? 
bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. The flood, the destruction that came in that time was for the world, of the, for the ungodly world. Same thing in this time. Okay, the destructions, the calamities that's coming is for the ungodly people of this world. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 40. Sirach, chapter 40 and verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. These things are created for the wicked. These things are created for the ungodly. So the death that's coming for the ungodly. Right, the bloodshed, strife, and sword, all for the ungodly. All right, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. That's all for the wicked of this world. All right, so let's go from there to the book of Isaiah, chapter 13. This is Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 9. Right, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of. He's coming to destroy the wicked. All right? He's coming to destroy. This is specifically speaking of his people, because sin is what? Transgression of the law. Right? So the only ones that can sin is whoever was given the law, the Israelites. All right? So the Lord is coming to destroy the wicked. Of course, these other, of course, Esau, Edom, and these other nations, all right. But he's also coming to destroy the sinners, the wicked of his people, the ones that don't abide in his spirit. Because it says, if if you break one law, you offending them all. Okay, can't nobody keep the uh, law perfect. Okay, unless you walk in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right, and his blood covers you, then then that would make you guiltless. All right, it says in the book of Psalm thirty-two, blessed is the man. Whose sins is not imputed onto him and his transgressions is not mentioned. Roughly paraphrasing Psalms 32. Okay? So the sinners is everyone. is all the Israelites that's not abiding in uh, uh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It's not walking as he walked. Alright? It's not following these scriptures to the best of their ability. The day of the Lord is coming upon you. Cruel. With wrath. With fierce anger. Okay? It says, verse 10. It says... For the start, Salake, bear with me. Okay, back to it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud. The people of this world is proud. Okay? And they're drenched in iniquity. They're drenched in evil. Uh, just like in the times of Noah. Their heart was uh, evil continually. And the ways of the Lord was not at all in their mind. Roughly paraphrasing, right? <clears throat> it says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. He's going to humble this world, man. He's going to humble all the proud of this world. Isaiah, the second chapter, the 11th verse. He will lay low the haughty looks. He will lay low the proud. The, uh, the, proud. the Lord alone in that day will be exalted. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming to get his glory. We have to look at the bigger, the biggest picture. The biggest picture is Yahweh Shai is coming to get his glory, and he given us his name. He put his name upon us. All right, to 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 further that glorification, he's gonna get glory through us. All right, he's already getting glory through us. He's risen us up from the dead. He took us out of the hoods. He took us out of the ghettos. All right, out of all the the the, the background, you know, the the different backgrounds that Jake has. All right, he has lifted us up. Shalom, I'm up. Yeah, I'm in a lesson right now. Give me like five minutes. I'm going to call you back. Okay, fine. All right, Shalom. All right, so it says, um, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. So, look, check this out. We don't have to fear. The Lord is about to punish the evil ones of this world. All right? As long as we're not doing no evil shit, we're going to be straight. He said he's going to punish the wicked for their iniquity. As long as we're not on the wicked shit, we're going to be straight. All right. It says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. we got to stay humble in order to be exalted and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. 
I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And we are we're going to be those men. Adawan Rataza, we stay diligent. Adawan Rataza, we remain faithful. The Lord said, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. We're crying, we're sighing and crying for the abominations. We're speaking against the evil and the iniquity and the pride of this world. We're the ones that's doing that. Okay? So Adawan Rataza, we are going to be the ones made more precious than fine gold with that mark of exemption upon us. So when these plagues come upon this place, it's going to pass over us. All right, just like in ancient Egypt. So really, I got to bounce. Let me see something. I'll get one more. Second Ezra chapter 15. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse... 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. The destruction of this world is nigh. Right? It says, and one, pe and one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. All these different protests and backlash. Alright? That's happening around the world. That's all biblical prophecy. Showing you that we're in the end. Showing you that we're close to the destruction of this world. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, we're seeing that, and invading one another, we're seeing that, and it's all going to intensify and skyrocket. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? It, it's going to be able to, hey, there's a lot of police force, police forces in America that's short. All right? So pretty soon, we're going to see all hell break out loose. We've seen it on a low level. We've seen it on a low scale. But we're gonna see it. We're, we're gonna see it like no other, like like it's never been. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Lockdowns, martial law, quarantines, all right, so on and so forth. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and the men and men shall be afraid. All right, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for the great tribulation, that lack of bread is for these people. That great tribulation is for these people. The Lord is going to deliver us out of the tribulation. And he's going to uh, uh, deliver us. It says, at famine and destruction, thou shalt laugh. I'll deliver you in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. It says in the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, these are they that made it through great tribulation. All right, so having that said, out of one rat that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chachorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of great millstone that rule well. And Shalom which is peace and love to elect of Israel. Shalom Hakim brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh, redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.